Welcome to our first dissection lab of the semester. And today we'll actually just be dissecting a mushroom, but you might want to use some of your dissection tools. The materials you'll need today are a mushroom, an eyedropper, if you have one, a magnifying glass, which is also optional, a paper towel, a glass slide with cover slip, and then either forceps from your dissection kit or um, a set of tweezers. And then you'll actually need a microscope too, which I don't have pictured. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a picture of your mushroom and label the stalk, the cap, and the gills. And you'll need to flip your mushroom over to see the gills. And you might need to remove the tissue that's covering the gills, and that's called the veil. And do it a little more gently than I did, because as you can see, I broke a little portion of my mushroom's cap. So in the first part of the lab, you're going to very gently break off the stalk from the mushroom. I got a few gills with mine, but you can see there's still plenty intact in there. And then you're going to take your stalk and actually pull it apart so you can see the, uh, some of the individual hyphae in there. Obviously, they are pretty small. And what you're looking at is the whole network, the mycelium. But if you take a look at just a tiny part and then maybe use your magnifying glass, you should be able to see some of those tiny hair-like hyphae in there. And you'll want to draw a picture of those as well. Then in the next part of the lab, you'll take your glass slide and your tweezers or your forceps and gently, very gently pull out the largest part of the gill that you possibly can. It's hard to get a whole gill, but see if you can gently get most of one. And then put that on your glass slide. And then you're going to add one drop of water do that. And then put your cover slip on top. Try to drop it from an angle, one side to the other. That squishes out some of the air bubbles. Okay, here's what I'm looking at under my microscope. I'm on low power right now and bringing the stage slowly up, just like we always focus the microscope. And here, I actually got two gills accidentally but you can see those right here on my slide. They are very thin and you can see the free edge that hangs down towards the ground is that darker purple portion and that's what we're going to be looking at more closely. So I'm going to move to medium power and focus again on that dark outer edge And then move up to high power. And there it is. So that is the free edge that hangs down towards the air underneath the cap of the mushroom. And you can see there's little finger-like projections. Those are the basidia. And you'll need to label those on a picture that you make of your microscope slide. So here I have a picture of what I found in the microscope and everything labeled for you. The gill is really the whole portion that we're looking at under the microscope. And then the basidia are those finger-like projections that you see at the bottom of the gill. 
and they produce spores. And I can find one spore on this slide. You might not be able to find any, so you don't need to label them if you can't find them. And that's the end of our lab today.